This game has taught me a valuable life lesson. Don't be so quick to judge someone or something you know very little about. I'll admit judging based off first impressions is a character flaw I need to work on. It's hard, however, because most times the opinion I form doesn't change after I learn more about the person or thing. When it comes to Fortnite, I had my mind made up. I said there is no way I'm going to play some stupid cartoon ass, third person, over the shoulder shooting Gears of War imposter. Then I saw some memes and I decided to give a shot. After one game, I realized how wrong I was. Fortnite has shown me the error of my ways and has turned me into a better person. And anything that can change my mind like that has to be something special. Over the course of one week, I went from saying, this game is stupid, to this game is good, to this game is great. Then I saw this, and I said, this game is gonna take over the world. Y'all see this footwork right here? This is exactly what I looked like when I used to ball for Duke. I remember after a game, this kid came up to me one time and said, Hey man, you look amazing out there. How can I learn to move like that? And I said, well, mijo, first of all, you gotta lose that damn wheelchair. Excuse me, there's a family behind me speaking some sort of hoobity boobity and I cannot deal with that right now, so do you have anything stronger than that wine you gave me earlier? Oh, I can take those? Oh, okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Damn y'all motherfuckers stink! Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down! And that is how you start a game of Fortnite off the right way. Can you tell I'm new? Oh good, some bandage wraps. Speaking of rap, y'all probably didn't know this about me, but I got a pretty fresh flow when it comes to rhyming words. I'll give you something real quick. Okay. Back when I Even though I suck at building, I'm gonna get about 50 wood real quick. It should help me out if I get into a small firefight. Maybe I should get about three more pieces. Ooh, look at this chest! I'm about to booby trap this thing, get me an easy kill. Okay, I'll admit it, I'm a fucking poser, I don't know how to do that. Oh! Getting shot. Dude, come on. I'm gonna have to build my way out of this one. It's a damn John Wick, so that's about what I expected. Most delightful way. Mmm. Look at all the people. Stones must be in town. For some reason, I keep thinking the more weapons and items and materials I get, the better chance I have of surviving, but I don't think it matters because I'm not that good. I think that's a John Wick. Oh, tree got him. I swear, sometimes when I play this game, it seems like everyone's a damn doctor or scientist or some smart person. I'm over here using my fingers to add one-digit numbers. Ain't even worth it. MY ANKLE! I've been walking around for two minutes and I have yet to engage anybody. Oh! Got a hostile! I'm gonna hide behind this hard bush while I figure out what 3 plus 2 is. It's like 5 point something. This crater is a very special location to me because it happens to be where my fiance landed when she fell from heaven. She's a big old girl. <laughs> Green pump right at the beginning. What more could a fucker ask for? Paul! Direct hit. 
Lord of mercy. Got this place all to myself. You bitch! People complain about the pump being too slow, but if you're good with it like me, then it doesn't matter. Oh, guys, where you going? My guidance counselor back in middle school was talking about these edibles. Mmm. Okay, I think I got it under control now. Mr. Garrison, if you're home, we would love to talk to you about lowering your interest rate on your mortgage. You, sir, have been approved. And now I'm going to employ the same technique I used to get that cutie pies number from the gym. I will observe the target from a distance, analyze their movements, and wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. I got it! This guy's got something on his shoulder, but only I can see it. I don't think I got it, so I'm gonna try with a different gun. I'm just gonna have to switch to old reliable. I think whatever was on his shoulder may have bitten him because look at how he's moving. That is not how a sane person moves. I think I'm just going to have to take him out. Seriously, that was a poor performance on my part, and I don't think that was a human player. I was just trying to be a good guy. Save the world from some dude with rabies, and here I am stuck in the storm. Damn, I got about 200 more yards, but I'm starting to feel it. Oh god, it burns! <laughs> Using the sniper rifle in this game is not easy, so if your team of four consists of you and three new players who insist on using the sniper rifle, you might as well be playing by yourself. Hey, she felt threatened enough to build. John Wick? More like Candle Wick. I'm about to torch this dude. He just needs to stay still. I'm not good enough to be precise. I'm just going to spray and hope I hit something. This is not the proper way to use this gun. When I was at city council last week, they said the budget didn't allow for sidewalls on forts. As you can see, we clearly need them. I need to pay my neighbor a visit. Poor thing, she's been having a tough time. Her husband recently left her. A tree fell on her house, and she's got this hideous growth on her face. So I'm just going to drop by and let her know that someone cares. Damn, bitch! I know your life sucks, but you ain't got to take it out on me! I think I handled her face problem. This is what happens when you've been playing the game for two weeks and you fight someone who's been playing for a month, but they've never used the minigun before. Would you rather someone shoot at you ten times and miss, or two times and hit you? It is not a trick question. Whoa! I didn't want to have to shoot you, but you nearly took off my foreskin killing that venom machine.
Sorry I let you die, Johnny, but I had to make sure they were hostiles before I engaged. I just killed that whole team with a revolver, and I suck. For those of you who enjoyed the video, I have good news. Three more will be coming your way by July, so let me know what you think of the first one. What did you love? What did you hate? All opinions are valued here. I will continue to deliver the highest quality comedy possible as long as there is someone willing to watch it. Next video, June 15th.